ก่อนหน้านี้ทีมงานยาคิวทีวีก็ได้ไปสัมภาษณ์ชาวต่างชาติที่ตกครั้งในประเทศไทยช่วงล็อกดาวน์โควิด -19 ที่ผ่านมานะครับก็คลิปนี้ครับทำให้เกิดคําถามขึ้นมากมายในช่องคอมเมนต์ครับว่าพวกเขากินกันยังไงอยู่กันยังไงพักที่ไหนเขาเอาเงินที่ไหนใช้มีเงินส่งมาให้จากทางบ้านหรือว่าเขามีธุรกิจอยู่นี่หรือที่สําคัญไปกว่านั้นคือบางประเทศเนี่ยเขามีไฟบินให้กลับบ้านกันได้แล้วแต่ทําไมพวกเขายังเลือกที่จะอยู่เมืองไทยกันอยู่วันนี้ครับเราก็เลยจะเอาคำถามเหล่านี้ครับจากในช่องคอมเมนต์มาถามชาวต่างชาติให้ครับเราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ภาษาที่เราใช้ Around Thailand, there is ways and means of living cheaply. You can definitely buy cheap food, s a y i n g cheaper accommodation. I was fortunate; enough, I've been working lots of countries globally, doing freelance stuff uh, like social media and photography. So that's allowed me to work remotely. Been pretty much been working off savings since I've been out here. A lot of my friends did in the first couple of months go home because nobody was sure how long this was go on for, how dangerous it was. Right. Um, but I just kind of took it month by month. I'm, I'm glad I stayed. I'm actually, I am actually going home finally next month for Christmas. Right. Um, I finally have to start earning some money again and living a real life. Try and go as much back to normal as possible. Um, but yeah, it's been good. So we were on this beautiful. Deserted island, man. It was like the k o p i p i from the 1990s that people would have spoken about. Like this legend of this beautiful island with these beaches. It was difficult during lockdown sometimes because you can't get any place with like a kitchen, just like and just get takeaway the whole time like that. Yes. One thing that uh, the audience would love to know: where do you get your money from? Uh, of okay. All this time. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good question. When I was working with scuba diving, obviously we're earning a bit then. So we worked hard, we got paid well, saved some money with that. I actually own a property back in South Africa, and I get rental money from that. So that has kept me alive, and also I've used all my savings because <laughs> there was no, there was no scuba diving left during lockdown, and even since then it's been very little work. That's why I'm now in Bangkok because I'm now getting a teaching position. How long have you been in Thailand? In Thailand, I have been for three months now. Mm. How do you find Thailand? Uh, I love it. Um, I live in India, in Cambodia as well, but uh, it's my favorite country, Thailand. <laughs> the food is yummy. <laughs> in my case, um, I was living in Cambodia, uh -huh. and uh, I had a um, road accident. So uh, the hospital sent me here, because as you probably know, uh, the hospital in Cambodia or the medical equipment are not fully qualified. So uh, I was lucky enough uh, to get here, but um, it was a hard process. Everything goes through the Ministry of Public Health, embassy in Phnom Penh, the embassy here. So it took me roughly a month. I have to quarantine at the hospital because I came with a medical visa. So I didn't have any choice to choose any fancy hotels, <laughs> but it was okay. Uh, I got affected a little bit by the lockdown, but but not a whole lot, because um, I live here in Thailand. So I mean, well, they didn't actually lock down the area, but what they did is uh, just kind of restrict uh, a little bit of movement. How did the Thai people treat you during the lockdown and and right now? Oh, they see me and treat me good, treat me normal. You know, uh, no problems, no worries here. I mean, lots of respect, especially when I start going to the remote areas. Uh, we travel on the motorbike, oh, thousands of kilometers all over North, Northern Thailand and around. And man, they treat me wonderful. Yes, I had some incidents when Corona first come, because there was so much Corona in Sweden and in Europe. 
They thought I had Corona, it was my problem. This uh, guy is screaming and shouting at me when I was taking out money. And he was, he was screaming in, in Thai, but he was screaming something with COVID. But other than that, there's no problem at all. I work uh, with uh, telemarketing to Sweden. So I could work for home at this time. I start work at like 14.30. Then I work for eight hours and then it was locked down so I could never leave my condo after I finished work. So it was very hard for me because I could never go outside during this time unless it was in the weekend. Other than that, it was, it was okay, you know, but not so fun. Um, I think you'll find a lot of foreigners will go home for a short visit to touch base with their friends and family, but ultimately if they're working here, they'll probably come back. I think for the next three to five years there's going to be uh, issues with employment abroad, um, as many businesses have closed down. As you know, the travel and hospitality industry has been affected worldwide, not only in Thailand. It, it, that depends. If, they, if people are here that don't have a job, then they're, they're the ones that are going to go. But if people have got good, solid jobs here, why would they want to move? I wouldn't see it. I think, ultimately, the questions you've asked me is to be content and happy with what you have. Uh, I wish I'm one of those. <laughs> Comparing what we had to go through here as, as opposed to what they went through in Europe, I would way rather have been stuck here. Everyone listened to the rules and now we are COVID free pretty much in Bangkok. If I could go back and choose to be somewhere else, I wouldn't, I would choose to stay in Thailand. Yeah. Any expats that are here know that if they were back in their home countries, may it be America, Europe, England in my case, their freedom would be curtailed and wouldn't be quite as good as it is here. So I'm, I'm extremely happy that I was lucky enough to be here working. Uh, I consider Thailand my, my second home, but it's now my first home. Uh, I live in many countries for many years, uh, and I can tell since the day I got here, it's a vibe of safeness on the street. For instance, this morning I got lost outside, and then uh, one girl helped me to get into the market. We had a chat, and... I love Thailand. <laughs> yeah, Tom Rak Thailand. <laughs> wow. Thank you for the hospitality. I know for a lot of Thai people, and people like Burmese as well, that live people at home, and it's been really, really tough really difficult year for them but I I'm just forever grateful for the kindness that they've shown me and hopefully all other foreigners that have been in Thailand.